Hi everyone, this is Sandy Crane at the Heart, and I am back to share my Maggie Holmes embellishment. So I am doing a swap with Mandy's Place where I have to make three sets of embellishments and I'll get three sets back. So I'm going to go over the, what the requirements are and show you what I made for each requirement. So first we had to do a Memory Dex card. So let me show you the Memory Dex, two of the Memory Dex cards because the other one is packed. So I made my own Memory Dex cards and I mostly used Bloom and the Carousel Collection. I actually went through an entire 6x6 six six Bloom paper pad making this and I used quite a bit of the chipboard from the Carousel and various other little pieces from American Crafts. So this is two of the ones that I made. So we had to make a Memory Dex card for each one. And on the back, we had to put our information, including things that we liked and our birthday. So that was the first thing that we had to make. Then we had to make three sets of embellishments. So let me show you the embellishments that I made. So I'll show you these ones. So these are rosettes, crepe paper rosettes, right? So I made crepe paper rosettes and I just topped it with um, a gold circle punch and then a punch from the paper, a heart, and then a heart um, sticker. And then I used this super cool die that I have had forever to make the little award medallions. And that is... This set right here, I just found the other piece that goes to this, and now I don't know what I did with it. Um, but yeah, this is, I don't know what happened to have to find it. But anyway, this is the one that I used. This is a Dear Lizzie die, and I've had this one forever. It also makes a bow, which I've actually never even used the bow. So for this right here, and then this is how I packaged it up. So I put it in a bag with some cardstock. And then I just use this trim from Hobby Lobby along with these gold leaf trim from Maggie Holmes. And I forget what collection it is. If I find it in this mess. And when I say mess, it is a mess. So this is my first embellishment. My second one, let me show you here, is this right here. So I don't know if you've seen, I have a pack of these somewhere. I was lucky to get them at Tuesday morning. But you can buy a pack of embellishments that have these card and pockets. And so I made my own. This one really, to me, looks like Maggie Holmes. So this one's very, very simple to do. Um, I have some double-sided paper from Maggie Holmes that I got from eBay. So if you buy the single sheets of paper, they are double-sided. But the ones that come in pads are single-sided. So this one's a double-sided paper, and all I did was um, cut it, fold it over, use my scallop punch, and that's pretty much it. You've got a really kind of authentic-looking Maggie Holmes um, pocket. And then I just used one of these tags that I actually got from Tuesday morning. I do love picking up those tags because even though I can make my own, when you're making a lot of projects, sometimes it's easy just to pop one in here and have it made. So this one is a vellum pocket. So it's just put on a cardstock base. I just made my own little vellum little pocket and then I just trimmed it with one of my rosettes, cut apart from the collection, a little heart punch out. And then this is a pre-made tag that I also got from Tuesday morning that I just popped in there. And then I have this pocket right here and this one actually um, goes this way. Some of them go up and some of them go sideways. And I use some pieces from the carousel collection and scraps and things like that. And then this is just a um, Project Life card that I had in my stash that I just cut down, ran to the corners, stapled a little cut apart Hello Love from Bloom. And then I have a cute little pocket. So I love that. And then to package these up, I put them in a bag and I just used a little um, topper die. This one I believe that I got from 
Aliexpress. I have one from Avery L. I cannot, that sucker, I disappears all the time. It's around here somewhere, but I've, I couldn't find it. So I just used this little one and it looks really cute. And I just made my own little gold bow. So that's how that one's packaged up. And then the third embellishment is I made these like little postage stamp embellishments and all they are is um, a die that I have from Spellbinders layered on there and then I just put um, different pieces of chipboard and this one I also got from Tuesday morning and it is I do love when I use my stuff from Tuesday morning it makes me feel good about myself I use this as well these are like cork stickers I guess and I use the carousel collection right isn't that cute so this is how I packaged it up like this I just put it in a bag and then I used the Maggie Holmes flower die to make my own little flower and I topped it that way so the last thing that we had to do is that we had to include um, die cuts. So in this one right here, I included the bits and pieces to make this right here. So I have, I cut these out and then I cut these out, right? And I stuck them in the back of here. So that can be made by that person. And then for this one, I cut a bunch of different pieces from that die that I have from Maggie Holmes. And I really, 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 really can't even accentuate the wheelies. Love that die. It's all like tore up in this bag, but it's the Maggie Holmes confetti flower die. And I've had it for a really long time, like forever. I don't even know, realize I knew what I had, but I had it forever. And so I cut leaves and different pieces and even a gold piece because I had a, some gold um, scrap. And I put that in there so people can mix and match and make their own flowers. And I put the flower up here so that you can see what it is that you can be making. Okay. And then my last die I put in here. And uh, it's got a bunch of strings for my glue gun. Um, this is the die that makes the little, um, the little confetti, the ones that I use for the confetti boxes, but it makes a box and you can decorate it and do whatever you want with this box. It doesn't have to be a confetti box, but that's what I used it for. I think in my Halloween embellishment video, you can see me using it. And also Bona, um, on her Instagram, um, showed her making these little die boxes. So for confetti, but they're just basically a little box. Um, and that is a Chamel die. So that's a Chamel die. These are all like crepe paper dies or whatever. I don't know if they're crepe paper or American crafts, but this die right here. So American crafts, they're all American crafts. So I love that. I think it's super cute. And so once I've got everything put together, then I make it into one cute little package. So this is all, I just went and I found, I have kept years ago, I have a, a secret um, bin under my daughter's bed, and in there I've got a bunch of just stuff. I mean, like boxes and, and things like that, um, alterable things, and I kept a bunch of these giant bags, like from paper and that kind of thing, 12 by 12 bags. So I was able to put it in this bag, which I kind of taped the back so it'll stay down and then I made a belly band so this just slips right off just slips right off and so I just created a belly band this is using the unnamed Maggie Holmes collection that I got paper pad that I got from Tuesday morning I just put some pom-pom trim on the bottom and then I used um, one of the chipboard pieces from carousel and then I've got this whole package just includes all the goodies are all in here and they can just be, you know, slipped into the envelope to mail and they're ready to go and they're not too humongous because they all have to fit in a priority envelope. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. Hope that gave you some good ideas. This is Cindy from Crane with the Heart.